right now on Push Girls. There you are! My husband Dustin is coming back to LA and it's gonna be the first time that we see each other since our separation. Are you dating at all right now? I'm seeing somebody. I figured let's do something crazy and I signed us up for speed dating. I have not had any women in wheelchairs before. I think people are way too intimidated to ask about a wheelchair. How the hell is work today? Do you even know what I do? It's pretty awkward. I still have this like unfinished feeling inside of myself that we didn't do our best. I push beyond limits. I push beyond what's expected. Beyond beauty. Beyond my wildest dreams. Push girl. I'm a push girl. I'm a push girl. I'm a push girl. When you can't stand up, stand out. I'm scared, Adi. Well, you know what? You're gonna teach me how to do it. I've never done this before, so. Go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now shove all those underneath the little wheel. Go. Empty. And then, like that. Okay. Yeah. Empty Judy is my caretaker now, but my husband Dustin pretty much did all of these things for me. Dustin and I have been together for 13 years. I came to Los Angeles when I was 23, and it was love at first sight. Dustin is an actor that was on a hit television show called 21 Jump Street. We dated for about a year and a half. It was perfect. We got married, we just bought a new house, and I just signed with two agencies of modeling and acting, and I was about to embark on the most beautiful journey of my life. And that's where I got in the car accident. I was instantly paralyzed. Ever since the day I woke up from being paralyzed, Dustin has been there by my side. I couldn't get rid of him. Dustin put his career on hold to take care of me. And after the four years of my paralysis, Dustin needed to go back to work. And it wasn't easy. Dustin had to move to Vietnam because here in Los Angeles, there's not many Asian American roles. In some ways, my wheelchair got in the way of our relationship. I had a choice. I could have had the perfect life and be living in Vietnam with Dustin, but Something just didn't resonate within me when I was out there. The old traditional Asian culture, when you're in a wheelchair, they look at you as if you're a curse. It's like a bad omen, it's like bad karma. And it's not very wheelchair accessible in Vietnam. So I came back to LA. Whatever you do, don't get the water in my ears. But keeping up with a long distance relationship was harder than I thought it would be. It got pretty lonely. I wanted to be loved and to be touched. I found myself wanting to fall in love again. So I asked Dustin for a separation. We're still very close and we talk all the time. And I always think of him as my soulmate. Ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Remember, I got the plates in my neck. So it's hard for me to breathe right now. My esophagus is being cut off by the plate. Angela is a very strong woman, but I worry because she's just like a baby. I want to make sure that she's taken care of. Got titanium. It ain't going anywhere. Okay. You got it. You go. Here to you, Auntie Judy. You now graduated. I Judy, just graduated. Judy and Tino Beauty God. School. <laughs> So how's the shoot going? Well, the shoot went very well. Yeah, it went extremely well. So what? So are all the girls all lined up over there waiting for you? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like that. Dustin's coming home for the first time since our separation, and it's really got me wondering where things really are between us. I didn't hear from you for like three and a half weeks. I'm starting to think, dang. I don't know. I like. I asked for the separation, but I just hope that, I just hope you don't have a wall up. No, I don't have a wall up. I'm just trying to 
I just. Um... Are you dating at all right now? I'm seeing someone. I knew this day would come when I asked for a separation, but it was still a shock for me when Dustin told me he had a girlfriend. And I started feeling very nervous about seeing him again. All right, so, so I'll talk to you later then. You take it easy. Bye. I'm single again, and I'm definitely needing to get back into the dating world. And since Mia's newly single, I figured let's do something crazy, and I signed us up for speed dating. I'm sure they don't get a lot of girls in chairs, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna stand out. You're going first. Why? Because Wait, is this it? You're the oldest. You have to be the leader. I was pretty skeptical. It hasn't been long since my boyfriend Dave and I broke up. But the more I thought about it, the more excited I got because I do need to get back out there. Everyone is ready to go. We're going to start. OK. Yeah. Nobody has to stress. It's just a lot of fun. And the way that it works is that everybody meets each other for five minutes. When I first got paralyzed, I was very conscious of people looking at me, people staring. And now, I don't even notice anymore. I have not had any women in wheelchairs before. This is our first time. And if a guy doesn't like them for who they are, they, they don't want a guy like that anyway. When you hear the gong, you hear gong. The, women, the men are going to move. The women stay seated. So come on in and enjoy. Have a great time. Psychologically, I found it fascinating because I just wanted to see how people would present themselves in five minutes. I didn't think anyone would ask about the wheelchair. I think people are way too intimidated to ask about it up front. I'm Seth, by the way. Oh, yeah, are we starting? Mia. Mia, nice Seth? to meet you. Seth, the last part of Joseph. Oh, cool. That's yeah. I'm a Pisces. And what month is that? I do months. I like Chicago for the, the jazz and like more of the, the food stuff, but this place is like, I love that everybody's from every place else. That's true. Long Island's very flat, but everybody goes to the city. Five minutes? Who knew that that would be such a long time? I actually sometimes, if I'm tired of like 10, 11, I'll try to stay up so I don't fall asleep because I'll wake up in the middle of the night. I think Tiffany got way more out of the appetizers there than the guys. I like your over here. Thank God for the appetizers. It saved to cut into my five minutes' time. So how in the world do you make it out here? Well, I felt there weren't enough Jews in entertainment, so I thought I would come out and help with that. No, um... I connected with one guy right away because we were both Jewish, and he made me laugh. At first, I thought you might be lying about the Jewish thing, but now that I see, like, you know, your humor, Oh, so now you think... You have the Jewish humor thing going. All right, well, thank you. Okay, I'm glad I passed your Jewish test. I'm glad you got that happen. <laughs> did we, like, exchange names? For real. Yes, we did. So now I know. But how do you spell? A-R-I-N-E-L. This concludes our event. Please finish filling out your match cards, and we'll email you the results tomorrow. It's pretty awkward. <laughs> I mean, there were some nice people, but ultimately, like, of course, the first thing you think about is, can I make out with this person? No. I did make a connection with somebody, and he didn't ask me about the wheelchair. Actually, nobody asked me about the wheelchair. It's hard to tell what that means, though. I'll just have to wait and see. MP. Dustin's gonna be here in two hours. Does my closet look messy? Yeah. I don't know why we're changing. Dustin will come, come home. home. It's so cheesy. You know Dustin. He I doesn't know. care. I didn't know. Hold this on. is like TTH, Tita. I'm what is TTH? Yeah. Trying too hard. Oh, OK. The thing about Auntie Judy is I know that she wants Dustin and I to get back together again. So I know that she's trying to like woo me or sway me to like make things happen and to make things work but it was my decision for the separation, and I wish you would just respect that. That's what you're gonna hold. You have to hold it like this. Why'd you put the mwah? 
Well, because it's just like a kiss. Oh my God! Remember, he just come home. You oh gotta. My Lord. He goes like, Mwah, because you can't. You know. I always believe that someday they're gonna be together. <laughs> or maybe it's just me. I'm just <laughs> hoping high hopes because they are a very amazing couple. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit overwhelming. I think anybody can relate to the painful emotions that comes with every separation. I try just to take it, you know, one day at a time, one week at a time. When he came down the hallway, he looked at me. It was like nothing changed. It was still the same. That's a cute sign. <laughs> I think Judy made it. I was, was going to crumble it up and throw hey it on you. the floor. Hi. Yes. Like the old Hi. Days. Hi. Dustin has this overall soothing quality about him. And just being in Dustin's presence, you know that he'll take care of everything. You look good. I actually slept, slept for like uh, Leo 11 Buff, hours. Look at your pecs. Your boobs are bigger than my boobs right now. Wow. What's up with that? Don't be hating. I know. <laughs> when Dustin came home, I didn't know what to expect. But when I saw him, I was very happy to have him home. I felt anything could happen. I've never been on a date with someone with a physical handicap. I mean, it'll be, I guess, a slight elephant in the room. That's it! That voice can only be. Ah! Even though Dustin has a new girlfriend now, I'm hoping to see some sparks. Well, you know you guys are the reason why I got married. It's just the beautiful chemistry. Mm -hmm. I wanted the evening to feel like good old days. But Dustin doesn't seem like he's even in the room. You're so far away. Hello. to go over to Angela's house and we get to see Dustin for the first time in a long time. One of the reasons why I got married is because of Dustin and Angela. Their relationship was just really, really beautiful. When Angela told me that Dustin and her were gonna get a separation, I cried, like as if it was my relationship. That voice can only be... Ah! Even though Dustin has a new girlfriend now, I'm hoping to see some sparks and maybe, hopefully, a reconnect. He's so focused on his fish right now. You can't mess with him when he's no. cooking. Does that look familiar, honey? It's great to have Dustin around because he knows what I go through on a daily basis. When he's not here, I kind of miss that. Oh okay, can I God. say it for the record now, not yeah. on the record? I miss you guys. Oh, we miss you too. But I mean, I miss you guys. And we miss you, too. Well, you know you guys are the reason why I got married. It's just the beautiful chemistry. We still have the beautiful chemistry. I know. Oh, babe. Mm-hmm. See? OK, let's, let's eat. eat. All right, let's eat. Let's eat before I'm drunk over here. Eric and I are sitting over here. You sit there. What? Like your own wedding. Yeah, I remember that. But like, we liked our own wedding. We came in, I'm like, where is Ati? Like, yeah. How many hours? It was like half an hour, 45 minutes. It was like an hour, hour and a half. It was an hour late. I wanted the evening to feel like good old days, but Dustin doesn't seem like he's even in the room. The planners kept coming happy. around the corner. It was like, hey, so you ever heard from your wife? Is she coming? Well, they Auntie, they do you have to be a drama queen at your wedding? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're so far away. Hello. There was a difference. Um, there is a definitely a void now between between Dustin and Ange. No. Oh. You gotta come back home. He doesn't oh, then live you go back. here. Shut up. I'm He's over there. Oh my God. Don't start crying on me. Leave me alone. Andy. It was obvious that Ati and Eric wanted me and Dustin back together again. Such a drama queen. But I didn't realize until then that I was starting to want that too. 
You see, Tita? He's straightening it up. You see? Look, look, up. Uh-huh. See? Know. Yeah, because the, the wrinkle is the one that's held up. Aw, and I love you. Mr. Mm -hmm. oh. I forgot. What? I forgot. I'm not thinking him look up. Forgot. It's okay. This is not important. Ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But you're so cute. Huh? Mm -hmm. Normally when Dustin comes home, he sleeps with me in the same bed and in the same room. When Dustin just walked out of the room, it told me more than he could ever say. Sometimes I sit and I think, um, well, how did I get here? How did I could, should have done this? I should have done that. At some point, you really can't analyze it too much. You just try to accept things as they are and um, and see what happens tomorrow. dating actually people might think that a first date is awkward because I'm in a wheelchair but a first date is awkward because it's awkward hey. hi how are you good good I've never been on a date with someone with a physical handicap I mean it'll be I guess a slight elephant in the room I guess my game plan would just to be let it be and let her bring it up if she feels but how was work today you even know what I do uh, <laughs> trying to see if I remember. You're not the one that uh, dresses up like a, a Star Trek character, right? That's not what it was you? All right, yeah. I figured. I was, there was somebody? There was somebody. A who girl? used to, Yeah, a girl who worked at the uh, Star Trek experience. I remember that. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if that was my job? And I was like, it was so stressful. I'm really busy today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what do you want to play? that he's like beating me in the arcade games, especially because like he says he's not into like sports and that's important to me. Oh, it looks like I'm on a roll. So he could oh, say he's no. not into it, but he has to be at least like competitive. <laughs> karma. Yeah, that's what you get, totally. Definitely karma. I got on my knees when we played air hockey because it actually looked more advantageous. Oh, I wouldn't have thought of it if I haven't, didn't see her lower to the ground and that actually, uh, I think made it easier to play. So I, I think that was actually a nice little inspiration for them. All right, you get in, I'll get on this side. All right. When she was trying to get into the photo booth, you know, I had the natural, I guess, slightly chivalrous urge to help, which I, I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. But at the same time, you don't want to look like you're showing that they can't do it by helping them. I kind of like the fact that he didn't ask if I needed help, because right. he probably Three. thinks that I can handle it. Three. I went out with Arik, and it was entertaining. Bye. Good night. Careful. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm still looking. OK. All right. So OK. What do we do? So I'm going to have Dustin standing show you frame. how to put okay. me in my standing frame. Holy cow. It was really important that Dustin showed Auntie Judy how to stand me in my standing frame because Dustin's not going to be here that much anymore. And so it's kind of like his way of like passing the baton to Auntie Judy. And then just plop me on it. My big concern for Angela, of course, is I want to make sure that she has proper care. I feel so much better, you know, knowing that there's, there's someone around the house that I can trust. You got it, Auntie. Thank God for Auntie to... Judy. But you hold my upper so I don't flop. Keep going. It's very important for me this year to stand in my standing frame to get my bone density up because I have osteoporosis. There. Yeah. Oh, there, Auntie. I'm standing. You have to do that all the time. I know. It helps with my bone. Mm, yeah. Are you going to cry, okay. Tita? <laughs> she doesn't say me Oh, Auntie. That's the first time I saw you standing up. 
I never give up hope that Angela could walk again. Seeing Angela in a standing frame, it was amazing. I feel good. I love standing. Yeah, it's very good it for her to good. stand it because of circulation. Like, yeah. You yeah. know, so uh, good for her bone density. Now, okay. okay. So once she's up, yeah. you okay. want to come over here and check, make sure she's everything's straight. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she might be a little crooked, and she'll tell you to yeah. adjust her. I'll tell you to adjust like my but, upper. I mean, she's standing or pretty my good. Hips. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Oh, Tita. Why oh, no. are you crying? Because you're standing up. You guys are short. <laughs> You want to know something creepy? What? Not in a bad way. There's nothing good about creepy. Okay, do you want to know something hauntingly beautiful? Okay, well, that's a bit. Okay. Does that sound better? <laughs> okay, what's so hauntingly beautiful is that we've been coming to this restaurant for the past 13, like 13 years. So, so what's haunting? No, that I'm sitting here in the wheelchair. You know, our first. The first time we came in here, we're sitting there by the wall, and I was walking. Seeing Dustin again brought back so many old feelings. And before he went back to Vietnam, I needed to know for sure if separating was the right decision. I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but I still have this, like, unfinished feeling inside of myself that we didn't do our best. To tell you, it is what it is. It is what it is, I and mean, you just gotta let it go. You just gotta move on, baby. Huh? We just gotta move on. When Dustin looked at me, and he looked me right in the eye and he just said, you just need to move on. I could feel pain behind what he said. I was wondering if he was almost saying it because he was like telling himself that he needed to just move on. Life is mysterious. A lot of times you grow along with people, you know, and, and you hope that you keep growing in the same direction and sometimes you grow separately. And something comes to an end, you accept the grief and the sadness and and then you, you try to see, get to the next phase, you know, whatever that holds. So how do you feel? He's leaving, are you gonna miss him? Of course I'm gonna miss him, I always miss him. Angela's not somebody that's gonna like disappear out of my life, you know, and uh, that's never gonna happen, no matter who I end up with. Um, that just, that's just part of my life. Yeah. Huh? Nothing. What? What are you thinking? Nothing. Say it, what is it? Why are you sad? I still have him in my life, MD. I know, I know. It's not like he's not in my life. Of course. So then why are you sad? Know. He's leaving, you know, and I love you both. It is so difficult to move on when Auntie Judy just clings to the past. I'm uh, just worried. Uh, that's I'm it. I'm tired of you worrying. It's just not helping me. I love no, you. No, I know you love me. It's quit like worrying. Like... Just quit worrying. Mm. I'll come I'll back and lock. I'll, I'll bring the key. Okay. It's not yeah, helping me at all. Like, I can't take care of myself. I can't do anything without Dustin. It's not supporting me. It's not doing anything. Okay, okay. You're making me feel weak. I don't like this part. This is where I miss you more. I know, baby. Huh? Yeah. I know. You feel it in your stomach. It's always tough to leave. And, uh, you know, I hate the say goodbye part. You know, I, I always wonder if she's, she's going to be OK. I always worry about her, you know? I always have this sort of uh, anxiety. OK, sweetie. All right, love. I love you. Emion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Andy, 
thank you for everything. She's so wonderful to her. He told me that not to watch over her, and I'm glad that you're here, and uh, I can depend on you, and you've been doing a good job. I'll talk to you soon, okay? okay. All right. Watching Dustin leave at the airport, it was really hard. It made me really sad. But this visit made me realize that we can't go back to the way it was. I have this new chapter in my life, and I'm on my own, alone, independent, and strong, and ready to rock this world. It's pretty exciting, and at the same time, it's scary as heck.